Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And good news, everybody. Good news. The purge is taking place tomorrow afternoon. Yes, okay. for, for half an hour, the emergency broadcast system is going to obnoxiously make your phone and smart TVs buzz. So TVs are going to do it too? I believe TVs are going to do it too. How about computers? I don't know. I think I think the whole world. So the whole world, world you're going to shut your group outside and that's all you're going to hear. Yeah, it's a nation. Well, not the whole world, just us. Oh, but you're still going to, I mean, I mean, you're going to still go outside and that's all you're going to hear. Yes. You're and, or that the people are what the fuck is going on with yeah. my phone? <laughs> I, feel, I feel very bad for people who uh, don't know this is going to happen. Like grandma's going to be oh. like, who's trying to call me? Schools and stuff. Kids have their phones. They're not supposed to be using them, but they still have their phones on in case of emergencies. So like, you're going to be in class and all of a sudden it's going to go off. Yeah, so I think a half an hour is a bit excessive. I don't know. Half an hour. A half an hour. Why? Because people don't watch broadcast TV like they used to, or listen to the radio like they used to. So now yeah, they're but like, even then it wasn't half an hour. It was like, you know, a minute. This is a test of the national broadcast. Yeah, and it's like, eh, only a test. If it's eh, like an actual emergency, blah, 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 blah. Eh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, the closest we have to that now that I've seen lately is uh, like the code Adam if somebody's, you know, abducted a kid or something. Right, but it like, doesn't go on for 30 minutes. No, 30 minutes is a bit excessive. And they said it's going to sound like the purge. It's happening tomorrow afternoon, 2.20 Eastern. Uh, to, something I guess, more annoying than my voice. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, people are going to be blaming us. We'll be watching a video tomorrow and be like, Clownfish TV made this happen. Uh, no, but, right. but uh, we're going to talk about this because there are already some conspiracy theories around it. I got to tell you. I'm a little weirded out because, like you were saying, you know, we're used to the emergency broadcasts. Right. We're used to that. You know, as kids growing up, that was the whole thing they did on TV or whatever. Radio. And the radio does it, but not for 30 minutes. No, not your it phone. Was only a couple either. minutes. It's on your phone for 30 minutes. So I'm like, this feels like the Dark Knight where Batman just like took over everybody's cell phone to find the Joker. Yeah, yeah. kind of. Like, is they, the Joker what are on the loose? Are they taking over, are they doing a test for 30 minutes so they're doing something else? But that's funny to me because all I can think of is the actual broadcast system has some guy's voice that'll go, beep, 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 oh, something's on a test. If this is an actual emergency. And it would be like some guy, like, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you know what would happen? The people would just, they would just ignore that anyway because you're so used to hearing it that, eh, eh, that you're like oh yeah it's whatever it's like no seriously world war three just started guys get to the bomb shelter this is not this is an actual emergency and people be like bullshit <laughs> no i just don't understand why you need it for 30 minutes i don't know i yeah i gotta tell you this kind of weird see a testing on your phone because like you know they, they, they tornado alerts or missing kids or whatever yeah i get the test that makes yeah. sense but 30 minutes yeah people people have some theories we'll talk about it um, so before you get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, we get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, you want to do that for half an hour just to let people know it's the emergency, emergency <laughs> clownfish. This alert. is a test of the emergency clownfish system. This is only a test. If it had been an actual emergency, you'd hear Geeky be like, What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who the fuck did that? Well, that's what a lot of people are going to be Sorry, doing mom. tomorrow, right? So this is coming from Deserto. Uh, what's happening on October 4th? Cell phone oh, users no. warned of nationwide test. So, People yeah. are going to know and they're going to be like freaking out. You know darn well. Um, televisions and radios are frequently used by people across the globe. One stops wearing, what is this? Wait, one stops wearing electron. Wait, wait, what, who wrote this? Televisions and radios are also used, but they said one of the most used electronics worldwide cell phone has proved to be a necessity, though not being able to use your handheld device or entertainment system may cause hysteria. Users all over will have to abide by the federal emergency wait, management. Wait, so you can't even FEMA. use your phone for that 30 minutes? I, I guess. Can you As turn your damn phone off? As all cell phones, televisions, and radios. Oh, they're under half an hour we'll be going through a nationwide so you test can't, you, wait so you can't use your cell your cell phone television or radio for half an hour while they do tests that's a little nobody bit. thinks this is weird i mean this is half a, little, an hour. a half an hour that's a little weird it's like, almost like they want to make sure that like update the, the spyware software guys that's, <laughs> that's what people so think that's what some people think <laughs> let me get my twin foil hat out here ready all right let's go that is a paper hat that's i don't like, have foil it's a mess i can do the test, Don't make fun of me. The test will, so this is FEMA. FEMA's eh, doing this. Eh. The test will take place at 2.20 p.m. on Wednesday, October 4th. The, uh, the noises from your electronic device may be loud for a duration 30 of 30 minutes. minutes. 
FEMA will be assessing the uh, the nationwide emergency alert system as well as wireless emergency alerts. What are you assessing? How pissed off you can make people? Sources have revealed that a voice may also be heard from your device saying something along the lines of, this is a nationwide test of the emergency alert system used by the federal emergency, yeah, management agency. Oh, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Eh, eh. This is a nationwide test of the emergency alert system issued by the Federal Emergency Management Agency. So they said, yeah, this is only a test. test. There's no action required. Okay, now this this is is a real emergency. (laughs) This is where I'm concerned. Okay, get my paper hat on. It's only a test. I don't have my little tinfoil. I don't need it until tomorrow. Okay, it was created. In 1951, when the control of electromagnetic radiation created an alert system for radios to warn Americans about a possible Soviet Union attack. Okay, so why now? Well, there's some crazy shit going on in the world right now. And there is? There what? <laughs> um, I guess I should take my tinfoil hat off. No, go ahead. Continue. No, I, I got to tell you, my personal feeling on this is that this is the World War III alert device. Well, is that what, just made people freak out. I'm sorry. That is my, like, uh, in the maybe event. Maybe it's aliens. Well, that was number two. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> aliens for October. Maybe aliens and well, World War III. They have been saying for a while that they have been, that they have, that they, that, well, he watches all the alien shows, by the way, that they, that they are trying to prep people so they're ready let us know about the aliens so i'm just okay so let's look at everything that's gone on in the last just in the last year if we set off in the air guys get Um, ready buckle up and get your popcorn we set them off in the last year we've had all these unidentified they call them now uaps now unidentified aerial aerial phenomenon uh, lots of people reporting this stuff, and it is getting Some of them hard. are Skylink, though. Some of them are. It's or Starlink. Blank. It's a Starlink? Yeah. Starlink. Some of them are Starlink. Because I got freaked the hell out last Feb- or this last February, and it was just Starlink. It was just Elon Musk. It was Don't. just Musk. So now I have to ask yourself, is it just Elon again? Anyway. It's just Elon, or is it aliens? Elon, <laughs> and that's, maybe it's the same maybe thing. Maybe it's the same thing. Maybe he is an alien. Uh, but yeah, so so everybody's got their cell phones now. And, you know, it's it's going to be a little harder to hide UFOs and UAPs because before it was like, oh, Jim Bob saw an alien. Jim Bob saw a flying saucer. Now Jim Bob's got a cell phone. Jim Bob saw Bigfoot, who might also be an alien. Who might also Depends be an alien. Depends on what theory you subscribe to. There, There's a friend of ours, I, Stan Gordon, is a friend of ours. As, but we know him. We know him. He's, he's a good guy. Uh, but he's he's written books on how he thinks that Bigfoot might be might come from As UFOs. I said, it depends on what theory it's all you subscribe related. to. Um, and maybe sometimes he rides Nessie in the battle too. That would be you know pretty awesome. <laughs> he's gonna be like, no, I don't. Anyway, no, continue. Uh, wait, Bigfoot's you... gonna say no, I don't. No, oh, oh, he's Bigfoot. I think that's Stan. No, Stan. <laughs> no, no. Stan's theory is it's weird that okay. Bigfoot appears whenever there's they UFOs. Don't ride right? Nessie, they ride Thunderbirds. But that's another story. That's entirely. a whole. That's a whole thing. Continue. Anyway. <laughs> So I am, okay, so we went through a pandemic. We didn't have anything like this, right? They're like, oh, we're testing it. I'm like, for 30 minutes, 30 minutes is incredibly excessive. Yeah, why didn't they use the door shutdowns and stuff? They didn't. No, it should have been like, you know, stay inside, wear your damn mask. Yeah, wear a mask in the car, wear a mask in the house. So now they're going to be able to look at you through your phone and be like, you're not wearing your mask. Did you get your booster? Um, but You're not superstars. You might want to consider <laughs> Stay six feet away from her, please. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. It's it's kind of it's kind of weird. So yeah, this this TikToker is like, you know, you tell people not to freak out, they're gonna freak out. Um, I just think it's gonna be funny because we're not gonna know it's coming, and they're gonna be like, "What the hell is going on?" And all it's gonna do is freak a bunch of people out who don't read. Though the test will occur for 30 minutes, uh, devices will be able to be used accordingly after 250. But wait, so wait, when the, they're basically going to come and start again, uh, 2 20 PM Eastern tomorrow. So, so for, half, for an hour. half an hour, you can't use your phone. What if you need to call? What if it's an emergency and you only have your cell phone and you have to make a, what do you have to, you're like in an accident. You have to make a call. This doesn't, does this. This really creeps me. I got to tell you that the fact that they can do this, that they can just push a button and deactivate everybody's cell phones effectively. That doesn't freak you out. That freaks me out a little bit. That's a little weird. 
I mean, I get why they're doing it. Do and we you? had it happen before. No, I mean, and the I fact that, like, not when, when he's had, like, there's been a tornado warning or, like, an abduction or something. And the, and the, people, <laughs> the aliens. No. Yes. Kids, in that vicinity, kids, in the vicinity that they are, they're trying to, you know, get help from or let people know. They'll do, like, a, a quick announcement, which I, I don't have a problem with that. But I think a half an hour test and you can't use your phone is really weird. Half so they, an hour. They said the cell tower is going to broadcast it. This is coming from Axios. Wireless phones should receive the message only once. Should. Oh, wait. So it's not going to be half an hour of just beeping? I hope to God not. Uh, the avoidably sent phones are switched on within a range of an active so cell tower. Let's take your phone off then, I guess. This is a test. No actions needed. So wait. So they're just going to give you one message once. It's not going to keep just blaring. I, well, it said it's going to be vibrating. It said that there's, it's going to be accompanied by a unique attention signal and vibration, which is no, particularly too terrible. I don't know. Some Nobody seems like, to know. Some people are like, wait, the phone's going to vibrate for half an hour? <laughs> well, I know what I'm doing. People, um. <laughs> you need some cigarettes and chocolate afterwards. So this person here, um, so here come the conspiracy theories, right? This person here said you need to turn your turn your phones off because they're going to test the system using 5G. It's going to activate the virus in people who have been what vaccinated virus? and turn them into zombies. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let me think about let me think about. Now, see, here's the thing. People are going to get on me because I've been I've been vocal about people having a right to choose whether or not to get vaccinated. I've been very vocal about that. And they're going to be like, well, Neon, you probably think that. I'm like, no, I, I do not believe. I do not believe that the signal is going to turn you into a zombie. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to lock Geeky in the basement. Oh, we don't have a basement. So I'll lock you in the garage. Well, just make sure you turn the, the sound off and we're good. Everybody's like, this is fine. Biden's going to shit his pants. <laughs> but he does that pretty much every day. Oh, my God. Uh, so this is like a lot of people are really – it's it's weird. I mean, I got – It is very weird. It's weird. Um, I have a feeling that if you were to convince the emergency alert system idiots that voting machines have a microwave that will turn them into zombies that vote Democrat, they'll stay home on Washington. Oh, my God. Uh don't be alarmed. I look, I think it's and I had somebody jump into my comments. I said, look, um, it's a little it's a little concerning that they're gonna be running this thing for like a half an hour tomorrow. I'm, I'm unclear. Are they like running it on your phone for half an hour or are they just running it like once and then they're turning then they're not gonna do it? But I don't know. You Nobody seems to know. Hour. Nobody seems to they know. Said they said you can't use your phone for half an hour. Though. Yeah, they're saying that well, according to Deserto, you should be able to go back to using your phone after that. Okay. It's basically just gonna keep Nobody going knows on. for sure what's Nobody going seems on. to know because we haven't heard it yet. Um this is what I'm concerned about. And I know in all seriousness, this is this right here is what I'm concerned about. Basically, with everything going on in, in Russia and the Ukraine and us getting involved, I'm like, is this duck and cover 2.0? You know, because we had to do that when we were kids. Like that was gonna help. Mm -hmm. Hey, the Russians might drop a bomb on us, but that's okay, kids. Get under your get under your wooden desk, get under well. We didn't have a duck and cover. We we they didn't. had us lie up in the hallways. We did a like, whole, but, but then our, they weren't really doing them too much. I mean, that wasn't we like, did them like, like the every. 60s. Yeah, but we were doing it all the time. We, we had were. a bomb shelter actually. Oh, well, actually, we, in the in the in the one building that was in Punxsy that oh, they yeah. had the, the movie theater in now. The movie theater was, slash bomb. I think it was that shelter. one. I mean, that building was the other building that they tore down. There was a bomb shelter in the basement. They sh <laughs> the bomb shelter in the, the movie theater. High. Like way back when I was a kid and there was a bomb shelter and we went down in it. And I can't remember which building it was in. I want to say it's the one that's still there. There's a bomb shelter in the basement. This is just, I, look, I, it's not, I do, I do not believe that this signal is going to like turn people into zombies or anything like that, right? I do believe it's being tested for something else. I think it's being tested because we're like, ah, shit might get real, whether it's the situation in Russia. Aliens. Or aliens. It could be aliens. Hey, there's a whole bunch of spaceships here, guys. Don't freak out. Beep, beep, beep. It's cool. They're all cool. 
Well, no, it's this is cool. a test. This isn't the actual. Yeah, I know. But when it, when it why, happens. Why now? Like you said, like, why wasn't it ever COVID? Why have they ne- they've done it on TV and radio? They've never done the cell phones to this extent. Why now? That's, yes, that's what I'm saying. That, so this to me feels like a precursor to something else, or they're testing well, it because they have reason to believe that something or maybe major now, could happen. Maybe this now the technology, they can do it nationwide, that they couldn't do it before or something. And maybe, maybe, you know, because the first time it ever happened ever, people are going to question it. I don't know. I'm trying to look at the, you know, the non-scary side of it. This, this is what, this is what I'm concerned about. Again, it's, yeah. Um, not, not frightening at all. It is, it is. Because I'm, I'm saying like the fact that we've never done this, we've had the technology to do it. I know. I was just trying to be. I'm trying to be positive too. But oh it, yeah, you're doing a great job. <laughs> I said trying. I didn't say I was being positive. I said I'm trying to be positive. You're, you're po- I'm being positive. I'm positive. I'm right. The aliens are here. <laughs> They're going to bake us all a pie, and when they show up on your doorstep, don't freak out. They're not going to stick a probe up your ass. They're here to give you some pie. It's all good. They're mm-hmm. friendly. It's pie. It depends and on what kind of pie, though. They gave Pies have meaning. <laughs> they gave Putin a pie, and he's all good now. Like, he's going to stop his bullshit, and it's all good. Everything's good. Um Yo, know, I don't know. I'm just, I know, look, I'm making light of this, but the, the reality is, is that this is weird. Yeah. And I had somebody jump into my comments immediately. Like somebody's going around just like trying to, you know, and I just said, Hey, don't you think it's a little weird that they're doing this for like a half an hour? Like this feels like a precursor to something or preparation for something. It's okay. We've always done tests of the emergency broadcast system. I, I know. But not for half an hour. Not for half an hour. Not commandeering our cell phones for a half an hour. And and then I'm like, then what's... Even the TVs. Like, they would still run your TV show in the background. It'd just come across the bottom of the screen for like, you know, 30 seconds or whatever. And it would repeat it like three times as a test. And that was it. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Um, it, it weirds me out. I'm actually I'm actually thinking I might, uh, I might turn my phone off just because... It's so I'm like, I mean, could you imagine like a, a horror movie or something like they, they te- do this test and they just like beam a video to everyone's phone. It's like, hello, I'm Gerp Knob the alien. <laughs> and I'm Knob, what the hell? That come- and I'm <laughs> here to tell you that we have lots of pies. <laughs> You're not going to be in the pie. Uh, don't worry. We're friendly. That's that's the best case scenario. We're friendly and we're just here to share our, our pie uh, with you. That worked out so well. And also the, the meaning of and, life. And the pilgrims yeah. and the Indians, didn't it? Uh, yes, it did. <laughs> Let's have a nice dinner and celebrate our, our friendship, guys. Fantastic. Uh, this is all good. Everything's fine. You guys are totally fine. Are you done? You know, we love uh, all of your natural... Re- Earth is a beautiful planet with <laughs> lots of natural resources. And we really, really love your natural resources. It's okay, though. Uh, we can share them, right? We can share them. Oh, oh you guys want to keep it? Yeah. Hey, about that. Yeah. Have you seen our spaceships? Yeah. You're just going to have to give us everything. Are, and are you we're going to relocate you to the moon. You, but we'll give you a pie on the way to the are moon. Are you done? Are you I done am. playing with Gert Knob or whatever his name is? Stop touching your Gert Knob. I don't know. I'm just, look, I'm trying to downplay this, but I got to tell you. Oh, you're doing, you're, yeah, you're doing great. Keep going. This, this feels weird. I'm not talking about the anal probes. Not this dirt knob. <laughs> dirt knob does not feel weird. Uh, he's got very soft dirt hands. Knob. And he's only got three fingers, so they go in a lot easier. Um, very small fingers. Are you done? I am done. Uh, so there we go, guys. This is this is happening tomorrow. And a lot of people are freaked. They're like, this is the purge. People are like, I'm going to sleep through I just think it's just, you know, I don't know. I think a half an hour is weird. I think it's weird. The, doing the test, you know, across the board because in case of emergency out of nowhere is also weird, but I can understand that. But the half an hour thing is what I'm weirded out by. Yeah. Do not let it play. Do not this, whatever. A lot of people are going to freak the hell out. Um, can you can you do that? Can you turn this off? Can you just turn it off? Can you say, yeah, I don't care if World War III is starting. I, I don't want to hear about it. I just want to listen to it. My... It's not going to be any lo- louder than Amber Alert. Is it going to be longer than an Amber Alert? I don't know. I don't they know. already do that now. That's why I'm like, they already do like alerts for like Amber Alerts and, and like, you know, hurricane warnings like that. We, we know they already do that. And yeah. It's I not mean, invasive. Like, 
like my girt knob. My girt knob, yeah. It's but it's it's a little. That's invasive. why I'm like, is it half an hour for real? I mean, if it's just like a quick or is little, it, like they're just gonna broadcast it for half an hour, and if your phone doesn't get it, then it'll just like I don't know. It's Nobody like seems you get to it know. Once and then you're done. I mean, if that's the case, then I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Um. Wait, what's this? Community Notes hasn't stepped in. Extremely loud is exaggerated. This is, okay, Bryce Smith. Listen to this guy. He has a furry avatar. He knows what he's talking about. He might, might actually know what he's talking about. I'm just saying. Extremely loud is exaggerated, says Bryce. The text message uh, will play the same loud as the Amber it's Alert. The Amber Alert, which isn't okay. that big deal. It really isn't. This may be sent out as a presidential alert, which legally cannot be turned off like the others. Okay, that's, that's weird. Okay. If your phone is on at the time, connected to cellular, you'll get the alert. Uh, this overrides the silent mode on iOS. Wait, so you on silent mode, you still get beat yes. loudly, even if, okay, that's going to be real fun. I actually kind of just want to stand outside right when this stuff is happening, so I just want to see how many I can hear. Okay, those with hidden and secret phones, you may want to consider powering off your device completely. This alert message will be broadcast for 30 minutes over cell tower, so leave your device off. So basically, if you've got you know, there's no record of it actually hitting your phone. It's just going to keep going off again and again and again. Um, stay tuned. I'll post results from this year's test. So, I don't know. Enthusiast. Does he say enthusiast? Fellow e Who's the enthusiast of this shit? This is weird. <laughs> yes. Uh, the emergency alert well, you're, system. You're, you're, there's a, there's a, yes, they have enthusiasts for everything. So yes, okay. I, I, I will we listen. We are YouTubers. That is a trustworthy, that is a trustworthy face. Uh, I believe that this... <laughs> Uh, Fox dog? But I don't dog know Fox knows is. exactly what he's talking about. No, it's true. He might. I, I, who the hell knows? I just know it's going to be annoying as hell. And it is concerning to me that they feel the need to do this right now. I, that's what people Given the state about. of the world, given everything that's people, going on. That's what's concerning people. Isn't like, you know, if it was no big deal, like we're just doing it once, you're going to get like one alert, you know, it takes a couple minutes, it, you know, we're just testing it. People will be like, oh, okay, it's just another version of national broadcast, yeah. you know, no problem. But because they're saying 30 minutes, they're not being like clear exactly how long it's going to, if it hits your phone one and done, or is it going to go for 30 minutes? And then because they're, they're, they're saying, you know, everybody has to do this and it's just, it's got freak being, people out. It's freaking it's, people out. It's, yes. It's freaking people out. Um, I just hope that aliens have pie. That's all I'm asking for. Good. Good. And Gert knob lotion. Well, you know, so that's right. That's right. All right. Oh, we are we done? Please think, don't say we're done. I think we're done. It's been know. done a while ago as far as I'm concerned. It'll like come and go tomorrow and it will not be a big deal. This video probably lasted longer than that emergency sure. announcement. <laughs> yeah, actually, what you could do is, yeah, just just watch this video. Well, you can't watch this video because watch it on your phone. You're going to get beeped at. But anyway. I mean, TV. I mean, apparently you're not allowed to you're taking over TV, radio and phone. Yeah. I, I'm seriously going to go if I remember to stand outside tomorrow to see him and how much I can hear. You just hear cars crashing, and fire, like, fire whistles going off, people screaming. No, you, know? you probably just hear that Amber Alert magnified. Like, what if everything breaks? What if, like, the bank breaks? Because, like, a lot of, like... They're not going to break the bank. Okay. What if everything just... What if it's, like, Y2K? Remember Y2K? Oh that was God. a thing. You're going to go Y2K. Okay. I think it's okay. I think All you right. can calm down now. I'm totally calm. I'm just trying to to put a... Put a positive spin on this weirdness are we done let's wrap it up please uh please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys we'll talk later bye